I am now going to review how to use the forward engineering capability of MySQL Workbench to create a database from a data model and um, go through some of the options we have to select to do so on the Santa Rosa Junior College servers where our MySQL database does not have the option to create a new schema or a new database. So um, I am going into MySQL Workbench and as you can see I have open the database that um, our textbook refers to known as the flight database which has four tables and um, you can see here's the flight database I have the data model in front of us open and I am now going to forward engineer that into an actual database implementation I choose database forward engineer which brings up the forward engineer wizard and it's through the selection of these options that I'm going to ensure that this works on the Santa Rosa Junior College server. So um, these are some of the default options. I'm going to deselect generate drop schema because I don't want to create or drop an existing schema. I, uh, I don't want to skip the creation of foreign keys if there are foreign key constraints in my tables. I, uh, I do this is an important one. I do want to omit the schema qualifier in object name. So I don't want to create table flight passenger. I just want to create table passenger in my SQL when I generate these tables. So that's a key one to select. Here I'm going to turn off uh, generate inserts. There's no data in this data model. I also want to make sure that generate use statement is off. We're going to do that manually in the next step. Now in this next screen when I click continue I want to make sure that export user objects is also off. It generally will be. Um, and then I'm going to, but I do want to export the table objects. I want to create those in the database. I click continue here, and this brings up my SQL statements. And what I'm going to do here is manually, as the first line, use jperets. I'm going to put my database, tell it what database to use, even though I only have one that I can add tables to. There is another database for administrative purposes. So, uh, and we need to tell the SQL connection what database to use when we connect through our account. Uh, so here I'm going to copy this to our clipboard just in case I want to reuse this again. I could also save it to a file. And when I click continue, it's going to ask me what connection I want to use to what database. I'm going to choose my Santa Rosa student account my administrative account, which gives me as much privileges of, as I have in that database. And then I'm going to click Execute, and we have Forward Engineer finish successfully. So I can close this, and now I could go back and refresh my um, uh, database schema, uh, which is under my name, and you can see that the new tables are created. I can take a look at the columns of the table as they're uh, specified in my model. So I've successfully uh, forward engineered a essentially a drawing of a database into a complete implementation including primary and foreign key constraints in just a few clicks and I've done that uh, on the student account that I have. So the key is to make sure that your schema identifications uh, are not identified, that they're uh, that you just go with the with no schema identification at all.